Is it time to buy or sell Disney stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Disney. Our initial report was published on our website on Friday, September 1, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since September 1, 2023, our system has ranked Disney as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 3.92. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. We'll continue monitoring this evaluation to see how it unfolds in the coming days. The stock has broken the falling short-term trend down. Firstly a stronger fall rate is indicated, but false breaks and sell-off may occur. However, a further fall is realistic and any reactions back to the breaking point, $82.15, are considered to be a second chance to get out. According to the fan theory $74.51 will represent the new bottom line of the next trend, but it is far too early to say this for certain. The current three-month trend suggests a potential minus 7.98% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 7.41% and 1.19%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 13.25% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 22.03% and 10.44%. This translates to a price range of $63.65 to $90.17 after a year. Our latest daily update for Disney includes the headline, Weaker Technical Forecast for Disney as Stock Downgraded to Sell Candidate. The Disney stock price fell by minus 2.44% on the last day, Friday, September 1, 2023, from $83.68 to $81.64. It has now fallen three days in a row. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 2.11% from a day low at $80.53 to a day high of $82.23. The price has fallen in six of the last ten days and is down by minus 5.03% for this period. Volume has increased on the last day by 17 million shares but on falling prices. This may be an early warning and the risk will be increased slightly over the next couple of days. In total, 27 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $2.24 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $118.18, and the lowest price was $80.53. Currently, the price is 30.92%, or $36.54, below the 52-week high, and 59.79%, or $121.38, below the all-time high on March 8, 2021, when the price reached $203.02. Analyst Ratings On Monday, August 21, 2023, it was reported that Credit Suisse gave DIS a outperform grade with a hold action. On Friday, August 4, 2023, it was reported that Needham gave DIS a hold grade with a hold action. On Tuesday, July 25, 2023, it was reported that Atlantic Equities gave DIS a underweight grade with a downgrade action. On Friday, June 30, 2023, it was reported that Needham gave DIS a hold grade with a hold action. On Thursday, June 29, 2023, it was reported that KeyBank gave DIS a sector weight grade with a downgrade action. Analysts have given Disney stock a general strong buy rating. They rate the P.E. ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Disney. There are few to no technical positive signals at the moment. The Disney stock holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. 
Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $83.43 and $86.18. A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Thursday, August 10, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 11.03%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Volume rose on falling prices yesterday. This may be an early warning and the stock should be followed more closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal 17 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal one day ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 15 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 15 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 11 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 15 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 80 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 78 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Disney There is no support from accumulated volume below today's level and given the right condition the stock may perform very badly in the next couple of days. This stock is usually traded at a good volume, and with minor daily changes, the risk is considered to be low. During the last day, the stock moved $1.70, 2.11%, between high and low. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 1.33%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Disney, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. A high P-E ratio could mean that the stock is overvalued or that investors expect high growth rates in the future. In other news, the next earnings report for Q3 2023 is expected on NOV 06, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $0.740. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Disney. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Disney is at $82.47. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. There's no significant support from accumulated volume below, which means the stock could potentially drop sharply under certain conditions. Proceed with caution and consider placing bets only if you're an experienced trader who knows how to navigate such situations. The combined average rating for Disney from multiple analyst sources is strong buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. The five most recent insider trades were executed by Coleman Sonia L., who bought and sold 3,285 shares or options in the company. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of minus 18.638. Overall, insiders purchased 156,862 shares and sold 237,486 shares in the last 100 trades. We have a negative evaluation for this stock and no stop loss has been set. Is Disney stock a good buy? Disney holds several negative signals and is within a falling trend, so we believe it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We therefore hold a negative evaluation of this stock. Due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture we have downgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a hold slash accumulate to a sell candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. 
For trading on Tuesday, September 5th, we expect Disney to open down $0.173 and start trading at $81.47. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.